You're watching Drake Wing Gaming. Enjoy the video. Hey guys and gals, Nary here from Drake Wing Gaming. It's so you know me on Twitter, the Gaming Dragon. Today I'm coming back at you to the Let's Play episode of Tennis Ace, Case Case Path. Anyway, y'all, let's go ahead and jump right back into it, shall we? Alarm Chan, you are up, and let's go. All right. Really? I'm glad I was able to help. <laughs> Through you, though your clinginess while we slept is part of the reason why I didn't sleep all that great. If we're gonna make it a habit of you sleeping over, we're really gonna need to have a talk about personal space. At least until I get used to sharing a bed with someone. Don't get me wrong, cuddling is great. Cuddling is awesome. Case case fur is so soft it feels like hugging a cloud. I'm all for it. But maybe not when I'm trying to sleep? Blech. Am I coming across as grouchy? I really don't want to be grouchy. Anyway, what have you been up to since you woke up? I did some studying. It's a good thing your phone is the same brand as mine. I had to borrow your charger, though. You could have used my laptop. It's not password protected. First of all, not password protecting your stuff is just dumb. Second of all, I have a respect for your privacy. I'm not going to go fiddling with your things. Oh, really? And where did you find my phone charger? A third drawer of your nightstand. So much for not going through my stuff. Shut up. What about now, though? You're not on your phone. Oh, I'm working on some song lyrics. I, kept, I keep a little pocket notepad and pen with me at all times so I can scribble when inspiration hits me. I extend my neck a bit, trying to peer at the desk. He really does have what looks to be a really small spiral-bound notebook. It even has yellow pages and everything. You really are thorough, huh? Of course. I'm prepared for everything. Really? And how does Mr. Prepared for Everything go to school in the morning without his Tuesday school bag? Don't think I've forgotten that funny little tidbit about you keeping a different one for each day of the week with all your... With all your notebooks and everything. Okay, maybe I don't have everything planned out. I it'll be fine, though. Will it? What are you going to do when philosophy rolls around and you don't have the textbook for it? Where will the philosophy notes go? It's fine. I can just write them on the back of my Monday sociology notebook and copy them later. Is that so? But then your notes will be in the wrong place. You'll have new philosophy notes in your sociology notebook. What will you do then? I, I can rip out the pages I use for philosophy out later. No one will know. Oh, but I'll know. More importantly, you'll know. Not to mention that you will then have a single notebook that has fewer pages than all the rest. What will you do then? I... I... No... <laughs> Messing with you is way too fun. Seriously, I don't know why you even care about all that stuff, but I had a hunch I'd get a funny reaction out of you if I did that. Glad to know it paid off. Okay, okay, I won't tease you anymore. That was mean of me. You're horrible. <laughs> Jokes aside, I can take a look at this lyrics book of yours. I'm... Can I take a look at this lyrics book of yours? I'm kind of curious. Well, you want to see it? Why? I did just say that I'm curious. Um, maybe at another time. You don't want to show it to me, do you? Not really. It's embarrassing. Fine. If it's such a big deal, I'll drop it. It's not a big deal, but I'd still rather not. Understood. You can keep your notebook to yourself. Don't worry about it. Thank you. With one swift movement, I toss away the sheets that were still covering my lower body, spinning on my seat to place my feet firmly on the floor. As soon as I get up, I quickly walk up to my dresser, grabbing my clothes and beginning to dress myself in my uniform. Pants first. Wow, went straight to the further uniform, huh? What? I need to get dressed. Really? I think you just embarrassed ha- I think you're just embarrassed being half-naked around me still. <laughs> even if that were the truth, that's not important. I need to get dressed either way. Might as well do it now. Aren't you even going to take a bath before class? I already took one last night. It's not like I it's not like I swear it's not like I sweat in my sleep or anything. If you say so. Don't you judge me. You didn't take a bath either. Only because I can't quiet I can't quiet walk around your house undressed, can I? I don't have my clothes with me, remember? Oh, right. Case Kay insisted on washing his uniform along with his other clothes last night. Dude comes over to spend one night and somehow ends up washing three full outfits all at once. I can understand liking things clean, but that's a bit insane. I'd forgotten about that. I can go fetch your clothes now if you want. Are you going to want to take a bath before class? No, we wouldn't have enough time. Just drank myself off would take a good 20 minutes. Looks like an y'all. Water time. And you don't even have long fur. Imagine how much of a nightmare it is for me. Case K gets up from his chair, walking up to me before sweetly cupping my cheek with his hand. It's still, I still, I still appreciate if you got my clothes for me, though. Were you really waiting this entire time for me to wake up so I could fetch you your clothes? And if I did... And then you're an idiot. Hmm, maybe just a little bit. Oh, it gives him a kiss. Keisuke leans forward, pushing his body weight onto his toes and stretching himself up to touch his lips to mine. It lasts for mere barely a moment, just enough for me to realize that it was there. Keisuke gives me a kiss and quickly pulls away from it again. Heh, someone's affectionate. 
So, can I be affectionate with my boyfriend? It's just us here. That's totally fine by me. I take this moment to return Keisuke's gesture, reaching with my hand to cup his cheek and stroke it with my thumb. That's when I notice something. Hey, Keisuke, what is this? I try touching a spot on his snout right next to his lip. I see what appears to be a mark hiding just behind the fur. Ow! As soon as I touch it, Keisuke winces, pulling away from me. What was the- Then, I remember. Absolutely not! Oh yeah. I- That's- Keisuke, is that- Is that a bruise? The hair- The hair- The hair is rubbed. Ah! The hair rubs a spot that I had touched before, making a sharp sound as he sucks in air between pursed lips as soon as, it as he touches it. Ow, I guess it is. No way. It's barely even noticeable. I didn't even notice it was there until I, look until I looked really close. But still, Keisuke has a bruise on his face, and it's my fault. What the hell did I do? Why did I even do that? As soon as the memory of it comes flooding back, that whole sense of dread I'd locked away the night before also rushes back in, stronger than ever. <sighs> Dread and guilt. Keisuke, come on, don't look like that. It's not a big deal. What do you mean it's not a big deal? Of course it's a big deal. Keisuke scoffs, waving a hand dismissively in the air. No, it's not. I mean, if it were any other situation, I guess it would be. But you were just knocking some sense into me. I was being an idiot, so I deserve that. But what are you saying? No way! Come on, don't look at me like that. You look like you've seen a ghost. I might be white, but I'm not that white. Keisuke tries to laugh it off with a poor joke. Yet all I can do is stand and stare at the bruise on his face. It's so well hidden that I almost lose sight of it even while staring directly at it, yet it's still there. And it won't go away just because I feel bad about it either. I I'm sorry, I didn't... None of that. I don't want to hear it. Without letting me finish my thoughts, Keisuke places a hand on my shoulder, cutting me off as I speak. Now, come on. Could you get me my clothes, please? I might be, un I might be comfortable getting, na getting naked being naked in front of you, but even I'm going to get self-conscious when you're fully dressed and I have nothing but a pair of undies to wear. Oh, Right. I'm gonna go get your clothes for you. Yes, please do. Keisuke stands up, closing his dinky little notebook. As soon as, he, as soon as he gets to on his feet, he stretches his back, interlocking his fingers and raising both arms high in the air as he stretches his entire body. My attention is dragged away to his physique, noticing how toned and fit his abdomen is and how strong his legs are, before quickly catching myself and snapping out of it. B be right back. Okay. I quickly step out of the room, walk into the little laundry area we have next to the bathroom to check on Keisuke's clothes. I'm not the neatest person when it comes to folding and steaming clothes, but I tried my best last night. I tried my best last night to at least make it wrinkle free once I got it out of the dryer. Although I'm letting it fully dry, although letting it fully dry would take far too many hours, and I didn't want to I didn't want to run the dryer until the early hours of the morning. So the clothes were still a bit damp when I took it out. I need to leave them into air dry overnight. I'm just glad they seem to be fully dry now. Here you go. They're finished drying. Thank you. I sit down on my bed, grabbing some socks and putting them on while trying very hard not to watch Keisuke getting dressed. He's very thorough about getting dressed, too, making sure his shirt is neat, his, his cuffs are aligned. He definitely takes a lot of care of his appearance. I mostly just throw stuff on and I'm fine with that. The only thing I take good care of is my fur, because it's way more problematic if I don't, and it starts trying to knot it, tying itself into knots. Second y'all, water time. Alrighty. How do I look? The same as you do every morning? Couldn't even sneak a compliment in there. Um, your shirt is nice? You really don't know what you're doing, do you? I'm trying my best? <laughs> I guess that's good, too. I think I left my bags downstairs. I'm gonna go get them. I watched Keisuke leave the room while looking around for my own bags. I got so distracted watching him get a change that I forgot to do it. Even though I'm pretty sure I was trying not to do, not to do just that. Wait, what is this? Keisuke left his notebook here. D did he forget about it? I should probably take it, to, take it to him. He did say he keeps it with him at all times, so he can write it when inspiration comes to him. Although, I could take a look first. Yes, he did leave it behind. I'm, I'm sure he wouldn't realize I took a peek. I can just tell him, hey, you forgot this, and uh, give it back to him, no questions asked. <sighs> Nothing stopping me from looking into it first. Maybe I don't. No. Respect your boyfriend's privacy. Uh, no, no, bad you witchy, bad! KSK didn't feel comfortable letting me look at it. What kind of boyfriend would I be if I didn't respect that? Although, it's just a peek wouldn't hurt, right? It's not like he'd find out. No! Bad! That's it! I'm heading downstairs before my curiosity gets the better of me and I do something I shouldn't. I head down to the living room, almost running down the stairs, trying to leave my curiosity behind. I ended up not even taking the notebook to bring him. I look around, finally spotting with the figure of the white hair, as well as Aki sitting next to each other by the kitchen counter. KSK's fumbling around inside his bag, checking for... Something. 
maybe making sure he didn't forget anything? Meanwhile, Aki is staring intently at his face. Glaring, even. Did something happen between these two? Morning! Yeah, morning. You got down here fast. I thought you'd be upstairs for a while longer. Why would you think that, and you- I turned to Aki, raising an eyebrow at his weird reaction. What's up with you? Did something happen? I it's nothing. Sure, you say it's nothing with that kind of face. I'm surely bound to believe you. No offense, but you're not exactly the most organized person. You didn't even have your shoes tied properly when I came downstairs. In fact, you still don't. I don't? I looked down at my shoes, afraid that I must have done something wrong. Instead, I'm greeted by the sight of my feet, nothing but socks, because of course they are. I'm not even wearing shoes. They're, the, they're by the front door. Made you look. <laughs> okay, you win this one. I win this one. Will there be more ones? God, I hope not. Aw, you're no fun. Did everything go okay last night? Why do you ask? Well, you haven't had anyone sleep over in a while before, and I'm guessing Case Case san didn't sleep on a futon on the, on the floor. What? Well, why would you? Because he's your boyfriend. If you, did make, if you did make him sleep on a futon on the floor, I'd be calling you an idiot right now. That's just because we're not necessarily... Yes, we did share a bed. Why would you tell him that? He's already bought noise-canceling earphones because you of you and your previous girlfriends. I feel like treating him like a naive child here would just be an insult to his intelligence. I really think I'm gonna like you being Aniki's boyfriend. Aw, oh, thank you. You're really sweet, Aki-kun. Well, what is happening here? By the way, I was gonna get some rice for breakfast, but since you're here, could you cook something? I always cook something. It's not like you have to ask me. And please don't eat plain rice for breakfast. You'll have digested everything way before lunch and won't have any energy to get through the day. You can't live off of basic carbs alone. I've noticed this a few times before, but you really know a thing or two about nutrition, don't you? Of course. I've researched all this stuff over the years, not to mention getting advice from coaches, sports dietitians, and the likes. It's actually really interesting to know about it. Have you ever? Have you never bothered to look into it? I, I just eat whatever people tell me to eat. How on earth did you ever get to as high of a level as you did being this careless? What? Well, I'm surprised to hear that from you of all people. What's that supposed to mean? <sighs> Yuichi hit ball, hit ball way hard over net. I don't talk like that. No, but it's pretty much your only strategy when you play. It works. Get off my back. Yuichi, you're an amazing player, but Aki Yoshikun isn't wrong. You could stand to use your brain a little more when you're playing. You're not an idiot by any means, and you know more about tennis than most people do. It's pointless. I tried to be more brainy years ago, but it's not just my thing. It's just not my thing. Letting my body respond how it wants to, to how it wants to has always been more effective. My body knows what to do better than my mind does. Boy, isn't it nice to be born so talented? Like now, water time. It's not talent. I worked my ass off. You did, but you also are really talented. You could do things that you could do things that, at nine that I can't even dream of being doing nowadays. And I started playing tennis when I was younger than you. Some things just come more natural to me than others. Everything comes natural to you. It's annoying. I've noticed that Yuichi is crazy good at most things he puts his mind to doing. But I've mostly only seen him play tennis and a little bit of him studying seriously. Has he always been like that? You mean good at everything? Yeah, he has. Basketball, volleyball, football, swimming. He's always been really good at anything sport related to sports. He picks it up and just like that, he gets so good he puts his experienced players behind. Did Shuichi ever tell you that he tried really hard to get Aniki to switch to volleyball? Aniki barely ever played it. Only did it only did it when Shuichi asked him, asked him to help him practice. But Chuichi and he always grumbles after about how Aniki is a better spike Aniki is a better spiker than most high school players. So I'm athletic, big deal. You're also really good at studying. It's just your memory that's crap. Your only problem is that you have the emotional intelligence of a chunk of wood. Hey! That's a bit unfair. Yuichi is a bit dense, but he's a good listener. I'm pretty sure I'm the oblivious one in our relationship. Yuichi has had to set me straight a few times already because I did hurtful things without even noticing. Oh god, that sounds really scary. Why and how did this conversation turn into a dissection of me as a person? You two are dating. It feels only normal that we'd be talking about you. There's nothing normal in this conversation. I like talking about it, though. I feel like I know you a little better now. Just shut up and hand me a few pants from under the counter. I'm gonna make breakfast. I don't want it to take too much time, so I'll just make something simple. Tamagoya, tamagoyaki miso soup and rice. That should be good enough. I can put some water in the pan and wait for it to uh, come to a simmer while I prepare prep for tummy, tamagoyaki. You're really fast with that knife. I know I've seen you cook before, but it always surprises me to see that. You think? I cook pretty often, so I guess I'm, I'm a bit skilled with it. Careful you don't cut your finger. You're not even looking at your hands while you do it. 
All right, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and pause it right there. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell. Leave a super thanks, or if you can, it always helps. Until the next video, I love you all. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.